The Niagara Parks Power Station provided hydroelectricity to homes across the region for more than 100 years. It was built in 1905 and then closed in 2006. But Niagara Parks has been working to restore the building into a historical landmark and interactive museum. It is the last intact example of its kind. Uh, so we're looking forward to showcasing the story of, of power generation, of science, technology, engineering. Construction began last June. And now they open in just two weeks, and there's still plenty left to do. We have done things like uh, fill in most of the four bay, so we could put the back of house operations in the four bay area to keep the generator hall intact. And that's really the, the awe moment when guests arrive through the Niagara Parks Power Plaza, through the beautiful copper doors, they'll see the generator hall floor. The station will feature beautiful original architecture and the 11 blue generators, along with new educational installations, like this one, that illustrates how the water would come through the forebay, then go down to make the turbine spin and power the generators. We want to honor the heritage nature of this building. This is just one of the many exhibits that will open on July 30th. Here, people can interact with this machine and see what it was like to be in control of the breaker room when this place is actually running. And this is only the first phase. Niagara Parks will expand to host an evening show called Currents starting in September. And by next summer, they hope to have an underground tunnel to the Niagara River open to tourists. Emily Taylor, CHCH News, Niagara Falls.